Oops. Sorry about that. This is aluminum flashing, by the way. It's very handy. I'll put it back up here. I don't. I won't do that. Walking a garden fork. Um, something like that happened to this window out in the greenhouse, which we're going to do a tour of soon. There'll be a link below. Um, uh, I think a possum or a raccoon got stuck in the greenhouse and blew through one of the windows and destroyed the window. So I'm going to make a video today to show you how to replace single pane windows and reglaze them, which is the putty that holds the window in. Ready? Here we go. First thing you have to do to get a broken piece of glass out is to remove the old glazing. And this is actually a very cool tool a friend of mine gave me. But you want to break out this stuff without breaking any more of the glass, ideally. Um, if you can't get all of it out, you might be able to slide, you know, if you've got this part clean and this part clean, you might be able to slide it out from under there and then clean that out. Tiny little metal pins in here. Tiny little metal pins you will find. Those are important. You want to pull those out. If you can reach in with pliers and grab that, pull that out, okay? There you go. Wear gloves, okay? These are the tools of the trade. Some sort of a digger thing to get the old glazing out. Some replacement glazing points. A uh, paint window paint scraper is very handy. This is called a five-in-one. It's very handy for cleaning st uh, window stuff. And this is my favorite tool for applying window glazing putty. Okay, so we've got the window channel, I guess we call it, all nice and clean. So I've got my window prepped, and this is a piece of glass I salvaged out of another window. I'm really big on, well, I collect windows. Um, it's, anyway, let's move on. But if you want to cut some glass, we have a video about how to cut glass with the secret tip of how to do it because my glazer friend showed me the secret tip. The link is in the show notes below and in the eye in the sky. There's a little eye up here with a pull down with a bunch of other information about windows. I've got this, I'm gonna drop it in. In the perfect world, this fits. All right, it's an imperfect world, but I'll make it fit. Nice. These are glazing points, uh, replacement glazing points, and you push them up against the glass. They go just firmly in. Your dog barks, and that is like that. So we do that, I don't know, every six inches, every eight. Next, it's time for glazing. Um, it usually just says window glazing on here. I've uh, actually got it so this can come out of here. A brand new tub of this is the best way to go. If you have some old stuff, maybe your neighbor gave it to you or something, you can thin it out with linseed oil. Or if you just want this to work a little easier, be more oily, linseed oil meet together. And that's what I've done here. This has been sitting around for a couple years, so I added some linseed oil to it. And, I mean, you know I like breaking bread, breaking, baking bread. Same thing with this. The more pliable this is, the easier it goes on. If you add oil, it will take longer to dry out, so you can't paint it quite yet, but it's the price I pay. We're gonna put this in the corners, ready to go. Grab some compound. And I always take it and I press it down like this.
you're going to put more on than you think you need and then you will take it off. You want to pay attention to where the wood, the trim is on the other side because you don't want your putty usually extending beyond that wood on the other side because then it looks like there's putty sticking out beyond your window. So I take my putty knife, I put my finger to behind it, I hold this at an angle and I come through like that. It doesn't always work like butter like that. That is really unusual for me to be that smooth about it. When you first do this, it's it's kind of like when you're taping and budding sheetrock, you're kind of like, and it looks eh, but it's a window, and once you get it up on the house, you're probably not gonna see the little things. But a little bit of practice, and uh, I really like to knead the compound, it makes it easier. It's important that the putty be warm. If it's cold, you might wanna try and put it in the microwave real quick, or warm it up in front of a blow dryer. Cold putty does not work. All right, so I have my favorite putty knife with my finger on the back of it. And I'm gonna start here and press in so the putty goes against the wood. And the center of the tool, the center of the tool rests right on the edge of the wood. Like that. Take this, put it back in your bucket of compound, you can reuse it. Nice, huh? Henry? <laughs> Please? She said it was nice. All right, if you want to learn more about eclectic DIY, the links to our show are in the show notes here. We put out new stuff every week. Um, and go out and do stuff. You know, it's, it's not going to come out perfect, but you're going to save some money and learn how to do it. All right? Make it a great day. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,